What's going on, everybody? This is Jesse Carter over at the Pro Wrestling Shoot. The Pro Wrestling Shoot is a podcast that can be found on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and Spotify. Every single Wednesday before AEW Dynamite, we dive into some of your favorite current day wrestling as well as some old school stuff. We can also be found over on YouTube and Twitch where we post exclusive video, whether it be content for video games or wrestling news or short clips or even live streams. Come check us out and subscribe to the Pro Wrestling Shoot over on YouTube and Twitch. And if you want to find us on our social medias, it's at the Pro Wrestling Shoot on Facebook, Instagram, Twitch, and TikTok, and over on Twitter at TPWS Podcast. The Pro Wrestling Shoot is not only just a podcast, we are also an independent company when it comes to audio engineering and graphics designs, as well as voiceovers so come and follow us over on our social medias and check us out every single wednesday over on apple Podcasts, google Podcasts, and spotify Folks, welcome to Everything Pro Wrestling. Everything Pro Wrestling is a show by the fans, for the fans. I'm your host, Conrad Cushman, joined tonight by the one, the only, Derek. What up, what up? If the sound is working, put a thumbs up in the chat. Let us know. If it's not, I don't know what else to tell you guys. I got I got problems then. I'm trying to figure it out. It is what it is at this point. We just want to cover Dynamite, right? That's it. Okay. Jesus says it's working. All right. Thank goodness. Cool. Appreciate it, my Gs. Appreciate it. Uh, welcome to the show. Trying to get your thoughts here on, um, let me turn this background off. Boom. There we go. Um, perfect. 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 Thank you, guys. Uh, come on in. Hit that like button for me. Truly, truly helps out with a lot of stuff going on with the streams and all the BS. Thank you. If it goes out, someone let me know right away and we'll correct it immediately. So I don't want to have any issues for you guys. I'm going to try to keep up with stuff on my phone too. Um, we got a bunch of people in here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for popping in. Um, we'll give some quick shout outs to everybody who has joined us for this podcast. We got Positively E. E comes in saying the NWO, the Bucks are NWO cosplayers and they play disgusting political games while hiding behind a Christian AF persona. Biggest backstage heels in the business. B Boy Skyline has joined us. What is good? Deanna said, I'd like to see pics of Jericho's chest tomorrow. You sound like Derek. Sick. Oh my God. <laughs> Was it ever? Hashtag sicko mode, right? Oh, whew. uh, yeah. Jericho's chest was bad. Matt Lopez in the house. Uh, six says, I don't know if he's coming back or not, but if he is, CM Punk better be rehabbing like 2001 Triple H so he can come back and stomp out the elite. They ain't even trying to be subtle about disrespect anymore. You know? Yeah. You know? They 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 just letting things go. They, uh, letting them go. They uh, going in, bro. Um. Let me see. E said, I hope Punk coming back, though. Uh, they're working towards a future feud. If Tony is actually letting them do all this as a shoot, then it's unprofessional. I lose a lot of respect for Tony Khan. Uh, let's see here. Hubbard Wrestling Weekly, the whole CM Punk elite situation is a work. It's a work. Uh, elite being thrown in. Man. Uh, people are talking about the GTS. <laughs> Sonny Bimbo has joined us. What's good? Um... Yeah, we're going to get into this whole thing. Pro Wrestling Shoot, what's good, man? Shout out to Jesse. Did an awesome episode with him uh, yesterday as well. You always hear his ads on here. We even got our boy Jesus Delion. Delion. What's good, Jesus? Uh, appreciate your family. 
Appreciate you. Derek, a big trios fan after tonight. Uh, well, you'll have to hear that and get to it. Uh, Cray said, it's a work. I've been saying it all along, LOL. Unless the Bucks are trying to get that heat they had a couple of years ago from not shaking wrestlers' hands in the business. Could be. Could be. There's a lot to say about this. Yes. Um, and I apologize to those watching on YouTube if the background's wonky. Uh, blame StreamYard. Because I don't have the actual green screen up behind me at this moment. So, whatever. And I've turned off the green screen and it still pops up. So, is what it is. Uh, Derek, we had William Regal come out early on tonight to uh, discuss what happened with Moxley and MJF at the pay-per-view. Thoughts? Uh, I, you know what? I, I just want to see. I mean, we, we all got the, the outcome that we wanted. I don't know if that's the outcome that we were expecting, the way that it turned out to be, but we all knew MJF was supposed to have the title. So I'm good with that. I want to know what this whole situation is between those two. Because William Regal has a lot of explaining to do, and he didn't explain a lot. And so, I need that. Someone said, what if Triple H offered to let him, what if they wanted him to walk to go back to WWE? Triple H is going to take care of him. True. He's True. he's in AEW as a manager. True. I mean, hey. But, but at the end of the day, though, bro, what's the storyline? Deanna said Regal's doing Regal things. So I don't know. I don't know what what you, what would you do there. I mean, they could have him come out and announce war games on Saturday. True. War games. <laughs> war games. Nobody better. Who better? Yeah, nobody better. Um, <laughs> Matt Lovett said, "Yo, Chucky's season finale was nuts. No spoilers." <laughs> oh, it's over. Yeah, this is the last t- uh, tonight's the season finale for. It. I might try and catch it tonight, Matt. And then uh, if you want to talk about it, just hit me up in the DMs. Uh, Cray says he thinks Regal's gone from AEW. Did he have a year? Nobody knows the uh, length of the contract, Deanna. That's the weird thing with uh, Regal. Very odd. Hmm. Why, though? Like, what would be the point in leaving? You're already there. Stay there. What, what, what? good are you going to do for those WWE wrestlers over there? That's a good point. I don't know. I don't you, know. You can't guide them in, in, in the right direction. <laughs> Rob said Regal is just an agent of chaos. Nelson throwing the hand up. Derek order in the house, baby. What's good? What's good? Uh, if Regal did have a year, it went by fast as hell. Yeah. Well, when did he, what match did he show up at? Was that, was that full gear? Was no, it, it was Revolution, wasn't it? Uh, when did Mox and Danielson fight? Man, my brain is tired from all this thinking now. Like, wait a minute. No, Danielson won at full gear against Miro right last year, so he didn't show up till Revolution. Yeah, yeah. Wow, that's so, crazy. Yeah, so he still had some time on his hands. Right. I, 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 I hope that's not the case. I don't want to see him leave, but I mean. If his heart is isn't in AEW and it's elsewhere, no matter where it is, I'm 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 good with it. But I would prefer if he stayed with us, right? I don't know, I don't know what they did with that there. Um, I guess it's things to pay attention to. I don't want Regal to be gone though. I think he could really be an asset to AEW, but I don't know. I think some of those loose ties will. Uh, play a role in all this at least they didn't have moxley come out like a chump and moxley was just like oh it's okay you know right. he, no he was basically after like yo i'm here to beat your ass regal for the shit you pulled um and i like that he did that and danielson came out and made the save and he kind of yes. made a comparison to their their experiences with alcohol i don't know what regal's choice of drug was it's not my business anyway right. but they he made references to their ha, them having demons as we call it in wrestling demons in the past mm-hmm. and he was able to save him in a way it was a great save honestly if yeah. you really want to look at it on the grand scale of the situation it was a great save it was bullshit, bro. I don't know. I want it. You know, you want Regal to get his comeuppance, but he can't. He's got a bad neck. Right. Exactly. I mean, you could finagle it a certain way where you protect him, but still make it look good. But why bother? Why, yeah. Why bother? 
Yeah, that's very true. Very, very true. Um, getting back into it, they kind of let that go, and then we transition into another awkward um, segment, I guess we'll say, with uh, Keith Lee and Swerve meet up. Yes. After being slapped at the pay-per-view, Keith Lee was like, you better have something damn good to say. Yep. And, and Swerve kind of like put his hand over the camera and was like, yo, back up. You don't need to be seeing all this. Right. I like that. I thought that was real cool that they uh, were able to put that in. Yeah, I, I appreciate it, too. Um, or as well. Sorry, I didn't mean to say that <laughs> the way I did. But I appreciate what they did. I, I, I want to see where this goes because I think this this could be possibly be a great feud between these two. Um. Yeah, let's let's stick with the feud. I, I don't want I don't want them to deviate away from that. Um, don't bring them back together. It was it's that time for them to go on their own. Just let it be what it is. Yeah, I think I think you have no choice at this point, especially with Lee and Swerve. Right. Um, we're gonna leave it where it is. Uh, Hawk from XGW. Shout out to the XGW brethren. He said uh, the Lion King run and never return line was great in the uh, Regal promo. That is true. Uh, why put him with MJF if he's leaving? Well, that's not known for sure yet, Eric. We don't know if they're going to end up doing that. Right. Uh, BJ in the house was good, BJ. Check out uh, the count out with BJ every weekend when he uh, posts it for us. Uh, he said, I feel like the opening segments were too teasing immediately after a pay-per-view. Yeah. Yeah. W- interesting to see what's going to happen with that. Uh, opening matchup, we had the uh, All-Atlantic Championship, Jake Hager, and Orange Cassidy uh, for the title to open up with this. Uh, Derek, I'll let you kind of take it away for that one. So we'll, someone said the Lion King line, so will Brian Tamsin become Sky and throw Mox off the ledge? Can't, can't say that in front of the intern. He's a big fan of the Lion Guard. Can't. Yeah. Can't be that doing one, that. That one you can't say. <laughs> he'll, be, he'll be in here crying. Can't have him see that. No. No Lion Guard. <laughs> Kion. <laughs> They're probably wondering how we know so much about this. I apologize. Part of research with the intern. Right. Uh, Deanna said, don't touch Jake's hat. That damn purple bucket hat. That thing stayed on for a long time in the match. It definitely did. Um, you know what? I, I like this match. Uh, it wasn't a big wasn't a big match on the card. Even though it should have been, the, the atmosphere itself didn't feel that way. But um, this was still a good match. Uh Orange doing his his own kind of thing, and um, you know it's it's Orange Cassidy, bro. Like how how do you how do you not like Orange? There's so many people that don't like him, but don't really have a reason why they don't like him, right? But there's there's a bunch of people that do love that love him, and I'm one of them, and you know you, you got you got the same old antics, you know. I'm gonna put my hands in my pockets, then go for the the, the little kicks. Oh, oh! <laughs> you know, I, I I it's I've come a long way to to, to like in Orange Cassidy. Anything he does, I think is great. I think a lot of people like Orange Cassidy, though. Once again, highest rated YouTube videos. This guy and Orange Cassidy have the top four. You ain't messing with that. No. And, and Deanna said it best. He's simple, but he can really wrestle. Yes. That's why I like the title in the backpack thing, because he's so lazy. Why would he want to carry a 10-pound belt? He's like, nah, fam. We out. <laughs> in the bag. I, I don't even want to carry it. That's how lazy he's supposed to be. Yes. Um, and he's protecting it, so to speak. You know? Yeah. I think Jake Hager's a really good wrestler. And he doesn't get enough credit for um for what he's able to do. Yes. But but I, I, I think in his defense, though, I think that his schedule for uh, what's it MMA? Or he, he hasn't he hasn't fought in a long time. Oh well, I may mean, listen, bro. I I, I was I was trying, trying to help him out. I was trying to help help them trios matches out, Derek. You can't help those. Come on now. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna rephrase E's uh, comment in the chat here. He says Cornet fans hate Orange because they daddy tell them to. <laughs> You could tell a Cornette fan a mile away because they start saying trampoline kids and and they just say the same. Kenny Olivier. Nobody said that stuff to a Cornette. Be original, people. Be original. Oh, McFinger. <laughs> oh, oh, jazz hands. Saying all that foolishness. 
give credit where credit is due, folks. Right. Um, Orange gets the win here with a roll up. I was happy with this match. We all know going into these dynamite shows what they're supposed to be, though. They are those Thanksgiving shows. We don't, they usually don't draw too well from right. a rating standpoint because people are traveling, they're out, they're not going to get a chance to watch this. Hence the same thing for Rampage. Yo, Rampage is at 4 p.m. I hope people understand this. 4 p.m. I'm still at work when this starts. Who do you think is watching this live? Oh man. <laughs> they they when they do that, I think they bank on the people who don't work at all. Nelson put up uh, your line in the chat, Derek. <laughs> Stelio. Stelio Cantos. <laughs> he said, not McFinger. <laughs> I like old school Cornette, but nowadays the dude just pisses me off. His fans are the worst. Oh, yeah. His, he, fans, his fans are horrible. The problem is part of what he says has, has some level of truth to it, but yeah. it's what it is. Rob said, I'm a corny fan and I love Orange. Conrad says it every week. Wrestling is subjective. Yes. It is. Y'all said 4 p.m. I, well, I'm on the East Coast, so 4 p.m. Eastern time. So you may have to switch that depending on your location. But I think, E, I think you're West, East Coast too. So, yeah, that's pretty bad. And if you're on the West Coast, 1 p.m. Yo, could you imagine... Pardon me for a second, boss. <laughs> click, click. I'm go. I'm going to work. So, bro, I I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. That that's a risky move to put that at 4 p.m. Very risky. Very risky. I don't. I don't know how many people. I mean, granted, they may be doing it because it's technically. Is there a football game on or something on Friday? A college football game? Something must Possibly. be on that that moved it, or maybe it's uh, hockey. Yeah, everyone's saying 4 p.m. is wild. Four, yeah. But then again, 4 a.m., I used to stay up to watch old ECW at that time on uh, Empire State. Man, nothing was better than a Saturday. You never knew when it was coming on. You just hear, doo, doo, doo. Yeah. <laughs> D- <laughs> you know, after watching a little BET on cut, <laughs> the mighty Casey. Sarah Jessica, if you know that song, you are a horrible person just like me, but I love you. I love you. Um, somebody said, uh, I think it's football. My job gives uh yeah, yeah. Thanksgiving and the day after off, so I'm good. Yeah, I need you to I need your boss to send my boss a message, Jesse. <laughs> Make it work. Aren't most people shopping on Black Friday? Don't know. I'm 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 looking for a grill though. That's what I know for sure. Honestly. Black Friday doesn't really have the better deals. I, in my opinion, I think Cyber Monday has the better deals. But that's just me, bro. I'm just looking for a deal. <laughs> <laughs> Who got him? BJ says sorry for being spotty. Uh, been busy this week. Shut up, BJ. You're fine, bro. I ain't thinking about it. But I'm back for the rest of the show. Appreciate you, fam. 4 a.m. is the New Japan times. The ones Derek refuses to uh, to coordinate with. Jocelyn said the joy from working from home. Wink face. Yes, same here. But uh, I, I had the benefit of it, but my comment was for the people who don't. Like, that sucks. Like, some people aren't going to be able to watch it. That's yeah. what it is. Most people ain't getting out of work until a couple of hours later. Depending, Yeah, especially depending on what the uh, the job is, too, yeah. that you do. Yeah, I mean, that's, like I said, that, that that's risky to do. I mean, but, hey, if that's all, that, if that's the only time slot that you got, you got to work with it. Facts. Just like we're working with this background today, those watching on the YouTube video version, uh, we've got we got red lights on in the background. We were trying something different that didn't work. The uh, green screen here is you see you see pieces of it. Uh, there's another one, so it is what it is. Shout out to the Jushin Thunder Liger mask behind me though. Love that. That was a gift from my brother. Uh, and we got the winged eagle. We keep that bad boy wrapped up, but we also got the uh, raw women's title. Someone gifted that to my wife, and she's just said, put it in here. There you go. And uh, that beautiful AEW championship. Now, are you sure it's not winged? Yo, don't even say, bro. I hate, yo, I heard it tonight again. We're talking about making some shirts. Make Derek do his job. Who who work from home? Only fans? <laughs> E, 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 I've been trying to tell people, click them links in the bio. You might find it. Bro, first question, though. Why is there no theme song for OnlyFans? 
Maybe they can use BET Uncut for that. <laughs> can we kick it tonight? They need something. <laughs> Only fans. Is- Shorty, I'm trying to see what that <laughs> thing smell like. You remember that video with the fingers? <laughs> <laughs> Only if you're over 21 do you need to be going to look up these videos, bro. Just BET Uncut. Absolute sin. It's just all over that. Bro, I, I remember the first time I watched watched BET Uncut. You know the first first video I saw? <laughs> Don't uh, get me in trouble. Nah. Pee popping on the handstand? <laughs> nah. Uh, <laughs> what? Uh, what's, what, um, what was Jada's, uh, like, Famous. Knock yourself out. Yes. When you thought it was the nice video yeah. that they showed every every day on MTV, <laughs> then you're like, "Yo, what is this?" Man, listen. I, I woke up one night, went to the bathroom, <laughs> grabbed something to drink, came back in the room. All I saw was ass. I'm like, "Well, wait a minute, time out. What just happened?" Shout out to E. This is another one of my uh, pet peeves. He said, "Remember how Bret Hart always said the WCW? Why did he add the in front of it?" <laughs> So Cray said BET uncut with the volume all the way turned down to two. And, <laughs> and, and previous channel and previous channel right here on Disney. <laughs> Disney 411. <laughs> I need a tip drill. I need a tip oh, drill. <laughs> uh, uh, tip drill too. That that drill was that was woo. Oh, here Rob goes. Give us fair benefits and you'll get your shirt. <laughs> I'm a fair employer. Don't you dare. <laughs> we we can talk about that BET uncut with the uh with the credit cards, you and Derek. Right. Making them trips out to the pink in Buffalo. <laughs> yeah. If you from Buffalo, you know what a low life place that is. <laughs> uh video was fire, always had to record and hit rewind VCR time. <laughs> yeah. Y'all boys file in here, man. Help him get more views and you get better benefits. Deanna, that's what I'm talking about. We might have to move her to an EVP position. <laughs> um, so oh, we didn't even get into after the after effects of this match, bro. Derek and Jesse will love this as the uh guys who love the the darkness in pro wrestling when they add that in. Yes. After the match, the factory come out. That is not the darkness, everybody. It no. is the sadness. <laughs> the the factory come out, and they're ready to get revenge on the best friends. They're like, yo, you guys aren't getting away from this before they celebrate. Lights go out. Julia Hart shows up. House of Black, bro, is back. They came out in their Sunday's best. Man, listen. Beating ass. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was perfect. Like, Oh, I, I I didn't notice it at all at first. Like the the background was the the Titan Trials went off. Like yo, hold on, wait a minute, what's going on? <laughs> he said JBO would call it the Pank, <laughs> <laughs> Mister Pank. <laughs> yes, oh. but this the, all right. Hold on, I gotta get serious for a second. Let me just say it one more time: the, the Pank. pank. <laughs> I'm going to the bank. Yo, the factory's bathroom break time. House of Black demolished. This is how they should have been presented from yes. get go. Yes. Are you? Were you happy with this? Did you? Would you rather had them attack the elite or Death Triangle, or were you happy with what they did here? I'm happy with what they did, but I would not have been opposed if they did that to them. But seeing what the circumstances were. A DQ isn't going to cut it with it, you know. So they I, I get why they had to do this because you have to keep that. It's a best of seven. It's a best of seven. Don't get me started on that. More on that momentarily. We're we're gonna we're gonna go through this because we didn't talk about BET uncut for a long time. We sing in Mighty Casey, what that thing smell like. We talk about the pank up in here. It's just craziness in the chat. Big T, you have walked into a crazy episode of the podcast. What is good, bro? Thank you for joining in. Guys, don't forget to hit that like button. I see a lot of people in here. Hit the like, support the small streamers, man. Try to it's time to uplift some of the small streamers. I feel into uh that that upper echelon. That's that's my Hogan or Warrior press. Uh, help them out with that. But they destroyed everybody. I thought it was a good thing. It was. Uh, Pro Wrestling Shoot says, I think we will get them to return to the trios, but right now we have to wait uh, five months at best uh, for, for best of seven. Yeah. 
Demond McKinney was good, bro. He said, yo, sorry I'm late. I was on the grill for Thanksgiving. Nah, you chop it up, bro. Send yeah. me, yo, yo, join the EPW Discord. Link below. Yes. If you guys join that, post your Thanksgiving plates tomorrow or in the Facebook group. <clears throat> I need to see them plates tomorrow. The mighty Casey. <laughs> Yo, it's a real person. He's going to beat me down when he finally <laughs> listens to this song, bro. It's so bad. Something like a phenomenon. <laughs> Something like a phenomenon. Yo, that, 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 that's a fire song, bro. The original, yeah. not that mighty Casey. Well, that's true. That's true. Um, nah, bro. Yeah, send me those pics. Join the Discord. Also, we're on Hive now at EPW Show. What so, is this Hive, bro? If Twitter goes down, <laughs> we, everybody said we're getting back up. So I just went and did it. All right. Well, I guess I gotta get on it now. You haven't retweet me when I tag Derek and stuff all the time. What have you guys seen? One retweet from Derek, bro. I gotta fix my notification. Nah, bro. Not, not all my notifications come in. Derek's bullshitting. <laughs> Put a make a T-shirt of that. No notifications. You see, Deanna, they want all these benefits, but then they don't do the work. Where's Cody when you need him? Where's Cody when you need him? <laughs> Fixing that pack. Yeah, hopefully rehab is going well for Mr. Rhodes. We need him back by uh, the Rumble, I think, just to have some interesting crap going on. Yes. <laughs> Fix my notifications. <laughs> yeah, so I'm happy. House of Black destroyed. Now we're going to move into the uh, World Title Eliminator Finals. Ethan Page versus the man. Absolute. Rick. Ricky. I just don't understand. <laughs> I just don't understand. <laughs> Derek, you need a union rep. <laughs> if they only knew no, what I, if, if if they only knew what I did for a living, <laughs> I try to destroy those too. <laughs> Cut it out. <laughs> Nelson is great. Uh stroke daddy. Uh Derek, see the way see the way my notifications work. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scooping out the uh, Mastodon scene, too, but I'll hop uh, on Hive. Yeah, everyone said Mastodon was no bueno, so everybody went to Hive. I know the right way to go when Elon fumbles the bag. He'll probably try to fix it, though. We'll see. Yeah, <laughs> Jocelyn said, I've created a monster. A lot of American Dad references. There is no blame to, towards you. You get an extra turkey leg. And we might save some dark meat for you. That's how we're feeling. We are thankful for that reference on this show. Along with a side piece of gravy. You can have a piece of gravy? That's nasty as hell. Lumpy. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so going back to this, uh, Ricky comes out. He's bandaged up, hurt. Uh, real quick, one of my favorite things in No Mercy, I'm going to need AEW Games to put that in. Uh, positively E in the chat, Matt Lopez. Let AW Games know I'm gonna need that No Mercy taped up vibe. That was yes. my favorite joint to put on Triple H after yes. a beat down from Foley. Gonna need that in the game. Yes, gonna need that in the game. That game's gonna be fire, bro. I already told you, bro. I don't know why you keep saying this. You're gonna be getting your ass kicked oh, no, on bro. stream, bro. It's, it's over. You better read your contract. <laughs> <laughs> you better read that contract or uh, these these little beautiful things. They ain't gonna be coming no more. <laughs> All right. Bro, you about to catch this work. <laughs> Guys, you can use our promo code manscaped.com, EPW show. Feel free. Feel free. You guys can get that work too. Get that lawnmower going. Uh, you know, it's always great to do that before you get into your Thanksgiving dinner. So make sure you're as bald as that turkey. <laughs> Go to manscaped.com, promo code EPW show. Uh, also, EPW Show, if you guys go to powerslam.tv, you want to watch some independent wrestling for free, I got you. So just put that in there as well. Uh, Nelson says, check the fine prints. Oh, I do. I do. I dot, I double dot the I's and double cross the T's. Jay-Z. AEW Games got a Discord, too. They do. But I need you to come to my Discord. AEW <laughs> <laughs> Games got rules. We still the Wild Wild West on EPW. So come on over. Exactly. Use the right tabs, or I'm a, or I'm gonna delete that thread. Right. <laughs> uh, what, what was Ricky Starks advantage for? Something fell out. Nah, he got jacked up by Lance Archer and the homies. Uh, in the match, Stokely got involved early on. He pulled Ethan Page out of the way of a dive. Stokely, that 
freaking manager. He got yelled at. My man uh, kicked him to the back. Yep, yep. Love that ref. Uh, Stefan was like, get out of here. So Stokely's gone. Ethan Page is out there alone. Ricky Starks hits a quick suplex off the top. He's able to fight back, battle back. Ethan Page looks like he might have it, but two spears from Ricky Starks. He is absolutely going to winter is coming to face MJF right now. I like it. That should be a great match. Yeah. That should be great. I want to see promos between them. Let them talk. Oh, please let them talk. Those two talking at each other? Oh. Right? Mm. Deanna said Ricky was selling like a boss. Demond said Ricky was wrapped like a mummy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was a good match, though. And it's going to be on your birthday, actually. Yes, indeed. Send gifts. Send gifts. Send all the love. Donate to that EPW. Uh, What do we got in there? PayPal. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, there we go. Don't do all that Patreon YouTube shit, because they're going to take some of the money. All right? Send it to us. All right? Derek, Derek's goal is to have us get a donation. So somebody send them a dollar. And get him a candy bar or something. Yeah, hey, that's all I asked for, bro. Uh, someone says CJ about to send you back to Crenshaw Pete with his hot ass coat. <laughs> <hairs>. <laughs> Big T said, I don't think these two have wrestled each other uh, since the Inspire Pro Wrestling days. You might be right on that, Big T. You might be a hundred percent right on that. Actually, somebody said Cash App. Now nah, we don't use that, homie. We don't use Cash App over here. Zell. <laughs> Derek knows every time we go to wrestling, do we not have this argument about tickets? Yo, how come you don't have cash yet, bro? I'm like, how come you don't have Zell, bro? It's bank to bank. <laughs> you have a bank? What, what kind of business are you running here? One day we'll have to do wrestling ticket, uh, the wrestling ticket conversations. We haven't done a QA in a while. I got to get Derek over here on a random day and we'll do a QA for yeah, you guys. We definitely got to do a QA. That, that, that'll be fun. That'll uh, be fun. Let me see here. Kiara Hogan needs to. Be, whoa. We'll get to Kira Hogan. Is this it right here? Yeah, we get the footage of Jay Cargill and uh, Little Bow Wow. You just don't know. Terrible. Yo, come on, bro. You are a Bow Wow fan. You Everybody likes one Bow Wow song. What's your Bow Wow song, bro? Don't lie to me. Ugh. He's lying, bro. Ah, Bow Wow was garbage. Yo, Cash App over Zell. Yo, anybody who says this, bro, I have a little bit less trust. I don't know why. <laughs> I've heard of too many cash app scams. I know Zell's got them too, but that's bank to bank, bro. You do you robbing a bank? You going to federal prison for doing that? Cash app's just some. What what are we doing here, bro? That's a business. Oh, uh, let's see. I would have to say probably. Let let me hold you down or whatever. Yeah, see, <laughs> well, Marion. Yeah, yeah, that was my jam, bro. That's a, that that was good. I. Aside of the fact of him doing that little, whatever the hell he was doing at the end of the steps. Mm, 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 mm. Yo, Omarion was a bad boy, man. He nah, could that, dance. He was dancing in the Tims down the street. Touch. Do, do, do. No, Touch. that wasn't, no, that wasn't Omarion who did that. that. That was Bow Wow who did that garbage. Well, Omarion was doing it too. Yeah, but his was smooth. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> Someone said you have to show me how to sell. It's usually through your banking app. Yeah. I, I love this. This show is wild today. It's just <laughs> random and wild. Yes. Uh, zero bow sounds ever liked. <laughs> Y'all dirty. Out of my system was Conrad's song. Yo, yo, I ain't going front, bro. That was I had a, a depressing breakup around that time. That was my jam. <laughs> Try to get you. T -Pain, yo, T-Pain had hits back in the day. Stop front. He, he definitely did. T -Pain. It's just like Ja Rule. Like, people like the front on Ja Rule. 50 really just came in and stole his style, bro. Listen, Ja Rule was cool until he came out with six love songs in a row. Ooh, Big T came in and said Bow Wow was the Aaron Carter of the early 2000s. I will I, yeah, agree. I will I will agree with that, too. I will agree. Somebody said we robbing banks. Yeah, on Cash App, <laughs> you probably can because nobody can trace that shit. <laughs> Bow Wow fresh as I miss, but him in wrestling, trash, gutter trash. <laughs> Y'all dirty. Yo, random fact, bro. Derek, I don't think you were here for this show. WrestleMania 24, I told Rob and Brandon that Bow Wow was in the crowd and nobody said shit. And they were showing all the celebrities. I'm like, yo, Bow Wow's really behind the announce team. It's at, I think it's around the time when Kim Kardashian does her interview with, I think it was Mr. Kennedy or somebody. And I was like, yo, we're really just not going to acknowledge the man Bow Wow is right there. They were like, yeah, no one cares. RIP to Aaron Carter. That is a fact, man. Yes. Bow Wow wasn't even a half hit wonder. Bow, Bow, 
Bow Wow had some hits. I ain't going to front. Agree, Ja Rule was all right until Murder, Inc. became the Inc. <laughs> yeah. That's because of M, though. <laughs> yeah. We got to we definitely got to do a QA. and a We'll do a QA and a where it's like no holds barred. You guys can ask us about rap, whatever. Yeah. Hockey, I don't care. Just put it in there. We'll try to answer it and we can talk about it. Yes. I was at WrestleMania 24. Bow Wow was there. Yes, bro. He, I believe he's sitting behind the announce team and nobody cared. And that's why I knew, like, I'm like, yo, this dude's cooked, bro. Because if they don't even mention you and you were, and I saw you, I was like, oh, right, that's yeah. pretty bad. It's over, bro. Like, you, you, you're not running with Snoop anymore. Oh, we, we don't even care who you are. What? Th- th- this wasn't even the best part of the segment. So they had some tour. They're arguing. I think is Bob on tour with B2K or something? <laughs> what? I'm asking you. You're the music man. <laughs> with B2K. Yo, I'm just. I, it was the <laughs> Millennium Tour, isn't that Bow Wow, Chris Brown, and all the on tour? No, that, you know what? Just leave it where it is. We're gonna move it. No, we're gonna move on. We're gonna move on. Derek, Derek, just getting mad. He don't want anybody to know the the teeny bop phase. Apparently, in, in back in the day. No, just leave it where it is. I'm about to look it up. Hold on. Leave it where it is. <laughs> I'm about to look it up. Hold on. Let's see. Big T said I was at WrestleMania 24. Uh, it's no wonder why nobody knew Bow Wow was there. They were too busy uh, booing at, and Kim Kardashian in that atrocious green dress. EPW goes wild. <laughs> Irv got in front of my salad. <laughs> <laughs> wild and out EPW edition. Yeah, we now nah, we get wild on here. Yo, chill, Marcus Houston. Yo, E done. <laughs> You're done, E. You're done. <laughs> we gotta have this man chill. Uh, so here's the thing I like the most about it. Mark Sterling is back with the baddie. She said, "Here's my legal." Mark Sterling, I thought was the better. Well, no, I don't know. Stokely was really good, but both who they both benefited from being with Jay. Jay needed one of them back. I felt. Yeah. So, oh yeah. Absolutely. Hey, I, you know what? I'm happy to see Red Velvet back too. Right. Um, Honestly, yeah, that, Red Velvet looked kind of. Yo, chill, bro. I ain't saying nothing. I don't need Wes Briscoe beating us up, bro. That's his girl. But, but I mean, <laughs> Kira Hogan then was removed from the baddies. Mark Sterling said, I'm going to need you to sign right here. Uh, so they're going with this no comment thing from Jade, too. So they're like, why don't you do it here in Chicago tonight? She's like, been here, done that. Now nah, I'm good. Right. <laughs> good line. Uh, somebody said Bow Wow got corny when he lied about having a jet until someone took a pic of him and coach. Why lie about that? I think he said he was in first class. And yeah. they, caught his ass. they were like, first class, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Dirty for whoever did that. Definitely. Red, Red Velvet looked hot, Deanna said. Uh, I only tolerated Bow Wow. Only song I listened to was him and Snoop. I don't even remember what was the song. Was that the Bow Bow Wow Wow, wow uh, if you yo if uh, you where my dog yeah. at bounce. See, yeah. I re- I remember this shit, bro. I got an old school memory. I was listening to all old school stuff today. Rob said, "Who?" It's probably in the Conan voice. <laughs> Who? Uh, remember when Romeo hit <laughs> Bow Wow at the diss tracks? Yo, that shit was weak. yo yo. Romeo had a good song with uh Solange. Yeah, that that one was good. Red Velvet was looking real cake. <laughs> <laughs> Kira Hogan playing patty cakes. Yo, y'all raw for this. So Kira Hogan's out. So it's going to be interesting to see what's going to happen with that. You're done, Derek. You're done, too. I'm cutting everybody tonight. The Elite versus Death Triangle. Best of seven. Two of seven. Two. Match two here tonight. The Elite came out to uh, the wayward son. Sons. 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 They come out and... There was a loud reaction of yes. boos and cheers at the same time. And then we heard F the Elite chants at one point when they got in the ring. You know what? I, I said what I said about Jersey. I'm going to say the same thing about Chicago. Come on, bro. Y'all some fucking fickle-ass fans, bro. Y'all, y'all couldn't. There was no way in hell y'all should have let the, the Elite walk through unscathed. Like, that That was 50-50. That should have just been F the Elite through everyone. I get it if you weren't saying it towards Kenny, but the Bucks, they should have got all of that. Man. All of it. Man. Yo, there's some funny shit that happens in this, and I have to reference an interview from earlier, but more on that in a second. Uh, we The crowd did break into some FCM Punk chants, and I was like, in Chicago, though? But there's probably AEW Chicago Town. They probably love the Elite. 
Yeah. I get it. What are we doing here, though? The, the fans were just battling. They should just turn into the FD Elite FCM Punk chance if you were going to do all that. Absolutely. Buffalo will always have F U Hangman. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we were going in that night. Yes. yes. Um, Chicago showed they peaches. They showed that bootay. <laughs> bootay. All you boys know about is dropping your britches and sticking them steroids in that your booty. <laughs> you guys got to look up. Oh, my goodness. I can't even remember their name. Before they were the Blade Runners, they were like the Freedom Fighters. Sting at Ultimate Warrior. It's an old Phil. Is, is What was his name? Phil. Is it Henderson, maybe? Or he, he was an old school manager. I can't think of it. Um, yo, just type in. Uh, I forgot what, what company that was. Um, I think it was in Memphis. The uh, promotion down there with uh, them. But type in Freedom Fighters promo and, and fill whatever and see if it pops up. But, yeah, absolutely crazy what happened in that. Uh, I don't think I could watch seven matches of this thumbs down. I hear you on that, uh, Damon. Uh, during this matchup, man, <laughs> they, they were they were wilding in this, man. Uh, Ray Phoenix hit a nice cutter at one point. I thought it was great. Uh, Kenny Omega bit pack. On the arm, I felt like that was a shot at A Steel. <laughs> Yo, big time shot. Y'all don't want A Steel to come back. It sounds like he was the one beating most of the ass in that backstage yeah. brawl. A so Ace is coming to cook. <laughs> yeah, y'all better chill, bro. That man's got blue collar forearms, bro. You getting you getting rocked. I know if it was me and him, bro, I'm drop kicking them knees. That's all I got. I'm like, yo, I ain't messing with them for upper body. We can't do it, man. Yeah, no, nah, no. Nah. Yeah. Um Honestly, I, I will say there were a couple spots that got a little sloppy. Oh, here he goes. There were two. Where's the horse at so he can get on it? <laughs> <laughs> there were two. I'm I'm not gonna address the uh, thank you, Phil Hickerson. Thank Phil you, Rob. Yeah. So I'm not I'm not gonna address the the awkward moment where uh, Kenny tried to. I think biting was one of the awkward moments. Well, that, well yeah, that too. But um, so Ray's Ray's cutter. That got a little well, Ray Phoenix like popped up too early, and then Kenny came up and he was already like, Well, let's just do it. Yeah. And Kenny just landed on the side of his neck, man. Right. So there was that one, and then uh what was the other one? Kenny Omega GTS. Yeah, yo. yo. The GTS spot. Hold on. Somebody had a comment for this. First, I got to acknowledge my man Hubbard Wrestling Weekly. He said, there you guys are. I thought my YouTube was messed up. Happy Thanksgiving, guys. I'm cooking and listening to you both. Appreciate you, my guy. Clash of the podcast every Monday at 6.05. I see all of you in here. I need to see all of you in there giving us a listen for Clash of the Podcast, man. Get in there. We talk WWE. That's where you get like a wide view of pro wrestling topics. You may get some old school stuff mixed in there. Uh, We even get into some combat sports. So, Get in there. Help us out, man. Clash of the Podcast. We're trying to make that a staple of your Mondays before Raw. So uh, check us out. Um, he said he's making macaroni and cheese for 14 people. Damn. I hope they don't got an appetite like me, bro. That's a lot of macaroni and cheese. That's that's way. Ooh, God. That, that, I think my wife's responsible for that tomorrow, too. But mac and cheese is needed. It is needed. It's got to be a Thanksgiving tradition. It is needed, but damn. 14 people? Derek, you know you're going to be one of the people getting that scoop on. So why are you fronting, bro? What you making tomorrow? What's your responsibility? Don't tell me you bought them, them pies from the store. I ain't touching them things. Bro. Uh, all right, bro. I ain't touching them things. I offered Derek three pieces of pie earlier. He, he going to take it before he leaves tonight. Nah, bro. <laughs> he said, he said, he's saying no now. Them pies going home with Derek. <laughs> Somebody gave them to me. And I was like, I don't want this. I don't <laughs> want this. going home with me. <laughs> Um, Matt Lopez says he wasn't feeling the trios match. Kenta GTS over Omega. If they're feeding uh to all this Vivitrol, uh, they should have uh won with the big rig shatter machine. Chill. <laughs> uh Kenny does the GTS. Is it safe to say he's coming back? I think so. Yeah, you better not be teasing that stuff. Like if you're doing that, that's super petty at this point. Yeah, super petty. Yeah. Um, and you deserve to get your ass kicked again. Chill, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry. Chill, bro. I think may I hope that they worked everything out. That's the only thing I could do it. I hope so too. 
I love the Bucks. I can't help it. Yeah, Matt one time leaned over the gate and basically did like crotch chops to the fans when they were chanting like F the Elite and CM Punk and all this stuff. There was an audible CM Punk, CM. You could hear it. Yeah. As faint as it was, it felt like they were trying to tune a little bit. Like, yeah, it did. It did feel like that. Like it. It was one sided, and then they tried to even it out and one sided again. <laughs> I like that Nelson wrote uh, a certain pie in there and somebody put sweet potato after I was going to be like, did you misspell uh, sweet potato? <laughs> <laughs> uh, bubble guts all through Thanksgiving dinner with the mac and cheese. Now, nah, I ain't going to be no BGs around here. I'm a professional when it comes to eating. <laughs> One plate, dog. That's all you got to do. One plate. That's it. That's it. But I am leaving with plates to go. Yes. <laughs> plates to go at mama's house. Nah, that's, that's greedy, bro. That's greedy. <laughs> Somebody got to do it. <laughs> Shoot. Nobody nobody feeds you like mama. Right. But Matt Jackson eventually hits a low blow on Pac. Pac was sporting a, a, a nasty mask, too, from his nose getting busted in the first match. Brandon Cutler, horrible job of handing off the hammer. I saw the hammer way before. I'm like, yo, ref, I know you saw that, bro. I know you see him holding that stri- candy-striped hammer. like It had like lines on it. He gives it to Matt. Matt's getting ready to use it. And out of nowhere, my man Penta comes in. And he was like, oh, no, I got something for you. Bonk! Right to the dome piece. Hammer shot. One, two, three. Death triangle get the win. They're up two zip. I like it. Yes. Unfortunately, though, I feel like this is going to go the full best of seven. And I feel like someone's going to win that should not win. But I think it's going to happen. You think it's comeback season now? Yeah. We'll see. We'll see what they can do. Um, oh, yeah, I've been, I've been, I've been having a little, a little sweet tooth for some uh, Chinese food. I haven't had it in almost a year. I think, I think last time I had it was at the beginning of the new year last year. Chinese food's always good though, the, especially a spot at the mall always hits, bro. You get the two meats, two sides, bro. <laughs> we and Derek were just talking about it. It always hits. Um, that and some fruit punch. Break out the butter containers for leftovers. Somebody said it's Rick Knox. <laughs> Yeah, there yeah. you go. Yeah, Rick Knox is, I don't know, man. The boys were in the truck uh, tweaking the audio. Facts. Yeah. Facts. They were back there just doing their thing. <laughs> um, yeah, whatever. Best of seven. We'll see where this goes. More on that next week, I guess we'll say. Right. Um, next up, we got Renee Young. AEW management has been forced to ask Thunder Rosa to relinquish the AEW Women's Championship. Uh, they make it sound like Thunder Rosa is doing this and she's happy to do so to give uh, the proper women the spotlight. You can still have Thunder Rosa come back and challenge for it. That could be the story even. That gives her something to do. I want my title back. I had to give it up. Chad, are we over this uh, this whole interim champion stuff? Yes. <laughs> Damn, Derek. I said Chad. Derek yes. Said, yes. <laughs> I guess it's over for it. But Jamie Haters announces the champ. And then for a minute, I felt bad for Tony Storm. And at the end of the next match, they were like, oh, no, Tony Storm's reign will count. What? What? <laughs> I think it should. Definitely. I think it should. Just because Thunder Rosa has been out. Excuse me. Thunder Rosa <laughs> has been out for a long time. Why not? Yeah, it, it's hard to take that away from them and say, all right, you, you're the interim champ and, I- and take that. Champ, true championship run away from. I, I am going to stick up for Tony here. I do think his intentions were good. Yeah, absolutely. with what he did with it because he wanted to be like UFC. But at the same token, I really I think some people hate that in UFC too. Yeah, you're better off just crowning a new champ. Sometimes, sometimes a battle royal, maybe a four way with the top contenders. Maybe you're like, you know what? Let's do a tournament. You have other options to crown a champion, and I think people just don't like the interim because it feels like it's a fake title reign. In your yeah. in your mind, if you watch it all the time, you're like the you're not really the champ, so. Yeah. Like, when people were talking about the video game, oh, maybe Tony Storm's not going to be when they show Thunder Rosa with the belt. I'm like, Thunder Rosa's the champ. <laughs> like, I wanted to yell that, like, to the screen to them, but they I don't think people got it. Now you can say it. Yes. And Jamie Hayter looks good with that belt. Let me she just does. say that. Jamie she Hayter does. deserves this, man. I absolutely adore her. Uh, I always have to give credit to my boy, JPQ, at Big Paws on a Pup on Twitter. If you guys like stardom, hashtag watch stardom with JPQ. He put me on. Uh, with the podcast that we used to do, part of Brain Buster Radio, to Jamie Hayter. He will always get full credit for that. Absolutely loved her. The moment I saw her, she was one of my favorites. She's, she was probably she's like good. number two for me. She's really good. Arissa, Arissa was my favorite from Stardom. For those who know, you know. Uh, someone said, please no more tournaments. 
Uh, Grace said Thunder Rosa was a trash champion. Still got to show respect from Rosa. Uh, I don't mind it. They they take away uh, from people being the champ. Deanna says, no more interim, please. I get it, but let it go. Vacancy suck. Yeah. 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 As long as you don't let that vacancy go on for too long. Right. Right? Yeah. If you let it go for too long, then it's... Ugh. Uh, we'll run through this and we'll probably end this pretty early for you guys. Uh, we had a two versus two versus two. What, what was that? A tag team triple threat women's match? Uh, say, say, say the right way, bro. <laughs> you say, I don't remember what they said. <laughs> Mind in the gutter. This poor, guy. poor choice of words there. I'm just saying. What did they say? <laughs> not, not triple threat. <laughs> oh, it was, uh, a three, uh, women. What did they say? Women's three way, right? Yeah, yeah. Sicko over here starts uh, laughing. I'm like, grow up, Derek. I'm just saying, bro. That that's not the correct way to say that. Like we're in sixth grade again. I'm just saying. Um, let's see here. The seeds were playing it for Brit versus Hater. They did kind of do that. Brit cut a quick yeah. promo before she came out and took the mic. Yes. So she's trying to make it known she's still the star of the team, but yes. she's letting her friend shine for now because she's just al- for now because she's allowing it though is what it was. Yeah. Six said uh, Thunder Rosa was great in rain, couldn't cut a promo to save her life. I think that hurt her title reign outside of being injured, of course. I I've always had so this is going to be a weird belief, Thunder Rosa. I apologize if I'm totally wrong about this, but I always thought she was hurt before. Go check her uh, matches on I, I don't know if it's cage match or somewhere that has all the matches listed. Thunder Rosa didn't wrestle from the beginning of the year all the way through her title reign as much as she was the previous year. Thunder Rosa is a wrestling machine, and she didn't do it as much. I think she was hurt before she won the belt. She That's just be. me. I'm speculating, of course. I don't know that to be for sure. Matt put women's three-way. Come on, y'all. I'm just saying, bro. That was a poor choice of words to use. For I that mean, way. are those teams a bad option for that ter- bad terminology? <laughs> I'm going to need you, Matt, and BJ out of my class right now. Right now. Hallway. <laughs> Thunder Rosa has hangman vibes. Better on the uh, chase. Ooh. Harsh, but I hear you, DM. That, that may be true, though. That may be true. Sometimes the chase is always better than the, the end result. Then yes. when you got it now, what do you do? You know? That's always the question. Uh, Sky Blue has been doing a great job with that code sure. red. Yo, can we call that the code blue? Yes. I think we th- that's yes. got to be her finisher, and it's like the that. cold blue. I like that. Yeah. But, but someone actually has to fucking lose to it, yeah. It could happen. It should happen. A.W. Dark. Got to watch it on YouTube. Check it out. It should happen. Yeah, I like that, though. She does that move very well. And, and it's very smooth when she does it. Yeah, and it's always, like, from a weird position, hops yes. right into it, money. Um, after that, so, oh, it's Tay Mello, Anna J, Dr. Britt Baker, Jamie Hayter, and Willow Nightingale in Sky Blue. And I love Willow. Willow's good. I love, Willow's wholesome. There's just something about her that you're just like, I like you. Yeah, yeah. I really, really like you. You know, she kind of gives me, um, Hacksaw Jim Duggan vibes. Get out my house. <laughs> Why? With all due respect, I never was a Hacksaw Jim Duggan fan. No, he no. only carried a two by four and said ho. Like he did clotheslines and body slams. You got to admit, like. But I'm talking about I'm talking about like energy wise. Where are we at with that though? Nah, nah. And, and energy wise, nah, you ain't gonna disrespect. <laughs> and here comes Matt Lopez yelling ho. <laughs> USA. I'm just saying, bro. Deanna said you can't hate her. She's got that energy. (laughs) I'll I'll admit he did have charisma. He could always. Okay. That's it. And that's no. And I met Jim Duggan. Great dude. Just he was never my favorite wrestler. I didn't really like him. I'm being honest. I I didn't like him until he he ended up hitting people with the two by four. Cray said hacksaw, though. Yeah, the two by four thing was crazy. Why did he carry that? (laughs) It didn't even. Anybody? (sighs) All right. Yeah, I'm leaving it where it is. All Your right, boy, hacksaw. Jamie Hader is definitely hacksaw. Jim Duggan. I was about to go into a battle rap line, but I better not. <laughs> so <laughs> that this is uh, over after Britt Baker hits the curb stomp on Sky Blue, yes. gets the dub for her team. They celebrate. I think the right team went over. Yes, you kept Willow strong. Willow didn't get penned. Ty Mello and Anna J didn't get pen because they're part of the JAS. Smart move. Sky Blue's the one who needs to get in there, get some reps in. I, it works. I yes. was happy with this. Yes. Two by fours is blue collar AF. 
Yo, we need that as a shirt, bro. Blue, okay. blue collar AF. Just blue plain collar. writing, put on a blue shirt, bro. I'll hook it up. All I need is the PNG. If you guys make the PNGs, I can do this. All right? Blue collar AF. And y'all better tag Rob in this, too. He ain't getting away from this. Talk about benefits. If I find out he's downstairs eating some food in my house, Rob's getting beat down after this. <laughs> With all due respect. <laughs> <laughs> After the match, uh, that's when we find out about Tony Storm's title reign. FTR is backstage with Top Flight. Uh, a challenge is made for the ROH tag titles. You can catch that at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you're not working or you're not too busy, go ahead and uh, check that in. See? Hater's more Dr. Death than Hex. So. <laughs> Dr. Death, Steve Williams. Remember when they all thought he was going to win Brawl for All? He got his ass rocked by <laughs> Bart Gunn. <laughs> Uh, eat up all the mac and cheese, Rob. See, we don't make anything till the last minute. How smart. That's what I would do. That's right. Always wait till the last minute. Here he goes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, top flight FTR should be fire. That should be a good match. <laughs> Dicky Dreamboat. Uh, I got your back, Rob. Get choked out, Conrad. Derek's got my back. <laughs> Tag team match player. Testing grade. Yeah. You better worry about the intern, too. He might come down here. Who knows what he's going to do? Who knows? He's going to call for backup. He's a wild card. <laughs> then Rob's going to do a heel turn because he already knows who his wild card is going to be. And then, no, no so that's a bad move for you, bro. It's a L- bad move. Lion guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. We are, we are the lion guy. Oh, oh, he said, I'll bring my twins. Oh, shoot. <laughs> he coming out here. I hope that means I hope he's talking about other interns and not not the uh click clack. <laughs> you know what I mean? Can I say that on YouTube? <laughs> well, technically the, the, those are two official words. Click clack, right? Yeah. Oh, what what else has happened on this show? <laughs> Jeez Louise. Um the acclaim call out uh they say they had a line about Jeff Jarrett and Jay Lethal and Slap Nuts. Jeff Jarrett's back there piss walking around. I'm in no mood for this mess. <laughs> I don't know what he was mad about. Wee woo, wee woo. Uh, that, you know, any, every time I I'm, hear that, bro, I'm I, kicking every, myself out the chat for this. Like, I didn't even mean to do that. Honestly, bro, every time I hear that, I think of uh, uh, well, uh, what was it? It was a SpongeBob episode, <laughs> <laughs> and, and I forget what it was. Like, uh, SpongeBob was like uh, an honorary police officer. Yeah, I know y'all, y'all saw it, but he's like an honorary police officer. Patrick is like his his deputy or whatever. So they're looking for somebody that doesn't exist. And then he sees SpongeBob standing in, in the middle of the street. Like, but he's but he's like Sponge or he's like, Patrick, just just say we woo we woo so I can find he's like we woo we woo. That's a pretty good Patrick. We woo we woo we woo. Somebody, somebody has to edit that for Botchamania. I know Rob will do it, but Bob and Patrick, we're looking for the uh, the maniac. <laughs> yes, yes. Somebody says a wild slap nuts appears. <laughs> Could you imagine if it said that if the words were popping up on the closed caption? Uh, Cray said you heard TNA sucks chance. Yes, you did. And yeah. Derek joined in. <laughs> I definitely did. <laughs> bro, am I the only one that missed the SpongeBob era as a kid? No, bro. No, that was a all. little bit past us. The TNA sucks chance were wild. We got TNA chance at the pay per view, and now it's TNA sucks. <laughs> Chicago piss. Uh, vampires and werewolves. He says, <laughs> Was Jeff Jarrett a part of the uh, Rap is Crap tour in WCW? No, no, he was he was too busy main eventing at that time. Shout out to Russo. Um, it was what it was for this. Uh, Billy Gunn proved that he could scissor again. They went crazy for him. Uh, it looks like we're going to have an acclaim versus Jay Lethal and Jeff Jarrett match, maybe? Or Probably. maybe just Jay Lethal? I don't know what they're doing with that. He was the ch- ch- chosen one. Remember that Kid Rock thing? Yeah, Cowboy. Yeah. <laughs> we don't speak of Kid Rock on this podcast anymore. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's your last one. 
<laughs> I feel like if I say it again, I'm gonna get knocked out right on the spot. Just <laughs> shut that mouth. Somebody said Q Kid Rock. Ball with the ball. <laughs> uh Black Fight Friday. We got Rampage versus Top Flight. Anthony Henry versus Darby Allen. We hear from Chris Jericho. Hikaru Shida's in action and the Dark Order versus Roosh, the Butcher, and the motherfucking Blade. We got we got ourselves some good stuff going on on there. Uh, and next week on Dynamite, we got match three in the best of seven. Match three. I don't know how I feel about that. You have to do something different now. You had two regular matches. Rob Zombie over Kid Rock. <laughs> F Kid Rock. Yeah. Oh, Deanna just hit it. I got to uh, note soundboards down. So we got to. Well. Nah. Nah. Come on, Deanna. Don't do me like that. Paul White, baby. Respect. Respect, Paul White. Where? Where's my man sick? Nah, bro. <laughs> Y'all got to cut it out. <laughs> Next. And, oh, and we're going to hear from MJF. More more matches will be announced on Rampage. So if you're not busy at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Friday, you know, you guys can check in and find out right. what matches will be on Dynamite. Keep Paul White off my television. Yeah, right there he goes. <laughs> right on cue. <laughs> Captain Insano. <laughs> Waterboy's a classic, bro. ROH world title matches our main event for tonight. Tom- Tomohiro Ishii versus Chris Jericho. Yo, they were trading slaps and chops early on. Ishii hit a nice back suplex. Then Derek lost his mind. <laughs> during picture and picture. Derek always gets mad during a picture and picture during the main event, usually like right around this time. But this time he was losing his mind because he was like, yo, is this chest bleed? And I'm like, yeah, you know, chops. It's probably like a little cut on it. I literally look up. And his whole, ch- I'm like, holy crap. He's like, I told you, bro, his chest bleeding. Chris Jericho's chest were Yo, donezo. A lot of skin taken off there, bro. A lot. <laughs> Jocelyn said the Bucks are getting the biggest pop next week. I'm embarrassed. Jocelyn, are you going to the show, though? I got some other friends out there, too. Hopefully they end up going to the show. I told them, go. It's fun. Uh, match of the night, Jesus says right here. He says, see if you can do the uh, big show-ish. We need Ricky Spanish on the board. We could probably get that, but the the board may be part of the problems. We got some work to do with all this stuff yes. for sure. Yes. Uh, Jericho trying to win. Uh, what what's W O T Y? What is that? Was it was wrestler of the year? Wrestler, yeah, wrestler of the year, yeah. Nah, fam, yeah. nah. Yeah. I don't think that's happening. But we, I have been working on the uh, end of the year voting things. Yo, there are so many matches listed for you guys for match of the year contenders. Crazy. So make sure you guys pass that to anybody who likes pro wrestling. I need as many votes on that thing as I can. Yes. Hopefully there's not a limit because uh, survey, what was the survey monkey? Dunzo, bro. After I hit over like, uh, I can't remember if it was a hundred or a thousand, whatever the amount was at the end. They were like, oh, you have to pay for it. I was like, oh, this is some bullshit. I got paid to see the results. Why didn't you tell me that up front beforehand? See? Right, right. That's that bullshit survey monkey. You think you're, you think they're helpful to the people? Nah, fam. Bad peeps. So and now, now we moved over to the Google. So we're yeah, done with that. There you go. Uh, that Jericho moonsault scares me now. It should have always scared you. Yes. Always. That's a, a crazy dangerous move, actually. Most people don't know. Uh, Jesus definitely let me know. Wrestler of the year. Thank you, sir. Uh, I'm trying to be one of the baddies. I need some help with that. Yo, tweet Jay Cargill. I'll, I'll like it and retweet it. You, you, put, you tell me that it's up there. You send me a DM. I'll retweet that joint for you. Get you in the baddie section in the front row. Right. What is this? Jericho has been having a good year, better than his. Whoa, <laughs> whoa! We ain't bringing that up. We ain't bringing that up. <laughs> you have to look in the chat for that. So Jericho's chest is bleeding. He went. He hit a line salt. Ishii kicks out at one because he's the shit. Follows up immediately with a code breaker, and I'm talking about Ishii. Yes. Or no, excuse me, no. Jericho did. Ishii then hit a code breaker after he blocked a move from that. That was a good code breaker. I that, was surprised. That was perfect. That was perfect. Ishii's neck is stuck like he's going to be texting for the rest of his life. I don't know if anybody's seen it. That man's neck is done. Done. He's so good, too. Like, I really wanted him to get at least an intercontinental title reign when they had that belt. I missed that belt, by the way. Give Ishii a chance, man. I would love to see him get the world title, even if he's a transitional champion. We gave that shit to Evil. Can Ishii get something, New Japan? Rant done. 
Um, Walls of Jericho got locked in. Ishii fights out of it. Lion Tamer gets locked in. Tomohiro Ishii doesn't know what to do. He flips the bird to Jericho. Jericho just puts that knee. He tries to find it. It's probably on his, like, upper back, really, but <laughs> can't find that neck. But he was there, and he just... He just gave the bird, tapped out with the middle finger up in the air, and Chris Jericho reigned supreme. Somebody said, what neck? <laughs> Damn, E. Um, so Claudio then comes out as he makes his way up the ramp, and he's jawjacking with Ian Riccoboni. By the way, Ian Riccoboni is a breath of fresh air on commentary. Yes. I really like him a lot. His, his delivery is very smooth. Yeah, we need him and Caprice on as much as we can to uh, get them ready for Ring of Honor and whatever they're going to do with that deal. Yeah, yeah. You got to do something. Yo, at this December show, bro, I think it's the 10th. Is that a Saturday? I think so. Your birthday's a Wednesday. You count backwards. You're better than me. I, I'm better at counting forward. <laughs> Tuesday. <laughs> like we're some goddamn accountants right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it's a Saturday. <laughs> Hold on. So they, I'm hoping they know by January what they're yeah. doing with this Ring of Honor show. Terry yeah. was really about to break out his phone. <laughs> the man keeps breaking out his phone to check things. Yeah, I got to, bro. <laughs> you got to fact check stuff. <laughs> um, Matt Lopez says he's calling it Claudio versus Jericho fight without honor. Twelve ten is ROH and NXT. Chris Jericho put a wooden popsicle in a lion tamer tonight. Shit was crazy. <laughs> wrong for that leave my boy ishii alone man i love ishii top five in new japan bro man always put on a good match he had some bangers with kenny omega in like 2017 or 2018 look him up bro fire was absolute his, fire was his neck in existence then no <laughs> it might have been 2016 actually i'm getting old now but it was a couple years ago but it was good hey gotta call it like you see it and that's the end of the show tonight like i said not too much going on with dynamite no it's just, just something to just something to give us until next week. Put your rating in the chat. I don't know, Derek. Should we do grades for these shows? Like, w- I guess the weekly show grade would be different than the pay per view grade. Like, different expectations. Yes. But I don't know for a show grade. If I had to give one this week, I, I would give the show a B minus. I think. Yeah, that, that, that's what I was thinking. I, I think it was pretty good overall. Guys, put your grades in the chat and let us know one thing you're thankful for this year. One thing. I'm also going to go to you, Derek. One thing you're thankful for. You know what? I'm thankful for this show. I'm thankful that I have all these wonderful people who tune in every week, like the podcast, uh, always appreciative of it. I've grown a pretty good wrestling community um, of people who like to talk wrestling, remain positive in here, and I love that. And I've also met some great people that I work with who pop in and out, Pro Wrestling Shoot, uh, the Bombcast guys, uh, shout out to Brian and Graham. If you guys like television shows and um talk about random things and Sandra Bullock penis facials, check out the Bombcast podcast. Uh, <laughs> grateful for that. And in my life, yeah, grateful man. for my family, health, all that stuff. But Derek, yeah, to same, you, to you, good, sir. Same thing. Thankful for all you guys coming out to uh, support my, yo, you program. can't, you can't copy my, you can't copy my thing. No, no, no. Nah, now nah, I'm being ungrateful. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Everything's a joke to me. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah, def- definitely thankful for you guys to come out and support my bro here. Um, thankful for friends and family. Th- thankful just for being alive, um, especially through these hard times, man. Like, uh, I want, I, I definitely want to point out like the mental mental health situation. Like, too many people are dying from mental health. Like, it's 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 no longer like. I mean, it is, it is still like people getting killed, but. It's it's grown so much within the last two three years. Like it's crazy, and it's we we got to try and help other people put a stop to it because just losing too many good people. Um, so I'm thankful for the people who are definitely trying to help that out and figure that situation out. I mean, we got to figure out every situation, but mental health is definitely something that needs to be figured out because you don't, you never know who's going through anything. Um, We all have our shit that we got to go through, but sometimes it hits people more than it does others. Facts. RIP to the green Ranger too. Yes. RIP man. Um, I saw that. I saw that. And a lot of people were affected by that. That was like a big part of our childhood. So I, I, you already know, bro. Like 
I, I grew up watching Power Rangers and the Green Ranger was the shit. I'm sorry. The rest of, like the rest of y'all, y'all were there, y'all were cool, but Green Ranger was the shit. Yo, don't disrespect Jason or my man Zach <laughs> like that ever again. <laughs> I don't know anybody who liked Billy. I like that. I can't front. Nah, Billy, Billy was annoying. But... <laughs> <laughs> nah, Alpha Alpha doesn't get enough respect. That was my guy. <laughs> I, 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 I. <laughs> um, I haven't watched that show in so long, man. Shout out to the toys that made us. That was one show that really made me think about Power Rangers again. If you ever want to hear a crazy story, good Netflix doc, the toys that made us. Um and we, we always say it every week, we're a show by the fans, for the fans. So let's end this show um, with everyone's thoughts and opinions on it. Hey, Zeus says thumbs up for the show. A says eight out of 10. BJ said, I actually thought this show was pretty good this week. It's about time to get ROH off of AWTV and all the belts. That is, I'm not mad at that comment. No. Uh, Deanna says B, miss show, LOL. F the elite, boring as usual, bring punk back. E is going in. Yes. Um. E, by the way, we did get some uh, Fight Forever. We got a little snippet on John Moxley. If you go to the AEW Games YouTube account, showing them some love. Uh, game looks good, man. Darius, yes. When Darius coming up to me talking about it, he's like, yo, that looks pretty good, man. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. Man. He ain't going to be saying that when he's Aww. getting uh, one winged angel <laughs> from me from out of yeah, nowhere. Right, Stupid ass <laughs> name. Stop <laughs> saying that. It's one winged angel. Like, you about to catch that mean snap German suplex <laughs> from my boy. <laughs> You are hope packed in the main <laughs> roster. 50 people to start. DLC coming. Yes. Uh, the acclaim have alluded to being possible DLC. Nice. I'm with it. Uh, Matt Lopez says 7 out of 10 for the show. EPW 10 out of 10. Kid Rock negative 50 out of 10. Damn. I'm thankful for my family in EPW. Thankful for my family and friends from Deanna. Tokyo says 8. BJ says thankful for EPW. BJ, we're thankful for you, man. Thank you for uh, blessing us with your show when you put it up, man. It's always good to listen. I, I I always listen to it once I get it. I get a little sneak peek before everybody too, though. So I'm listening to it while I'm editing and putting it together and stuff. I'm like, ah, this is pretty good, man. And then you know, got to throw the free listen on. Uh, Jesus says, uh, Conrad, I agree about Ishii needs a title run. Hopefully, he wins the TNT title in AEW. That's a possibility. Yeah, I could see him becoming like Ring of Honor television champ again too. Uh, Nelson said, thankful for my kids, and I ain't in jail for uh, killing none of these dumb fudgers out here. Well, Come on now, good. Nelson. Come on. I respect it. Uh, I am thankful for family and friends that never fail to have your back when you fall. That's a fact, man. Always need someone to catch you. Thankful for this great podcast you and Derek do. Hey, Zeus, you're too kind, my friend. Too <laughs> kind. Uh, and like I said, dude, we appreciate you, man. Like Absolutely. everyone who mods in the chat, that stuff's important to us. Like if I'm missing a bot being in here, you guys usually take care of it. If somebody comes in, we've had people come in here and say some wild stuff in here too. So appreciate it. RIP to the Green Ranger. Four out of ten, four point five out of ten for the show. Cray on his Bret Hart tip right now. <laughs> Thankful for my wife and kids and family and my health. Just life. I'm blessed. Well, we're blessed that you feel blessed, bro. Thank you. Uh, Hawk put R.I.P. Only man uh, to play four different Rangers. R.I.P. to J.D.F. Yes, Jason David Frank. On some real, I'm glad I found two people that like me talk about wrestling that I'm into because there's a lot out there, but not too many that rep me. Man, we always rep the community, bro. Absolutely. Demond, without wrestling fans, there is no pro wrestling, man. That's why I do this. And I'm not one of those people who I don't have an agenda. I don't have crazy stories. I'm just talking about the show we watch. That's it. And unifying all the fans, man. Uh, I followed JDF all these years, and last week I didn't see this coming. Yeah. Uh, they're making a horror Grinch movie. Yo, I'll watch that. Uh, game looks fire. All that blood. Uh, thankful for life, uh, health, and mental health. Uh, friends, family, work, all that. Appreciate it. 4.5 out of 10 because of Bow Wow. <laughs> Bow Wow, though. <laughs> Uh, shout out to the wonderful uh, bots that are in here. I'm I'm thankful for you too. I'm doing something right when the bots get in here. So appreciate it. Uh, thankful for for the watermelons, <laughs> uh, if you will. Uh, they are making a Bambi horror movie too. What is going on? <laughs> Nelson got the click clack. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's going to be Nelson's new name, the Click Clack. Uh, Ishii versus Joe would be fire. I would love that, man. That would be fire. Guys, thank you so much. Have a great Thanksgiving with your families. Uh, me and Sean will be back on Monday. Clash of the Podcast, 605. Make sure you are tuned in and check it out. For myself and the man they call Derek, we are out for this episode of Everything Pro Wrestling. One. One. 
everyday pro wrestling, they can never be you. Listen to the podcast for the people, the best show that's here, so listen in. Let the knowledge begin, the opinions, the lesson, yes, by the fans, uh, for the fans, uh, not many in this can understand, uh, this the podcast to show you who I am, uh, Conrad Cushman, the legend in the plans, uh, please listen every day to the showcase, the opinions and knowledge that anyone can take, showing you how it is done, proving I am number one, what a legend becomes, this is now my time to show you that I am here, uh, this podcast just to make it loud and clear, uh, by the fans, uh, for the fans, uh, not many who's here can understand everything pro wrestling, they can never be you. Listen to the podcast here for the people, the best show that's here, so listen in. Let the knowledge begin, the opinion and the lesson, yes. Everyday pro wrestling, they can never be you. Listen to the podcast for the people, the best show that's here, so listen in. Let the knowledge begin, the opinions, the lesson, yes.